How's it going, YouTube? I am Seth McMillan. This would be episode 25 of my Let's Play. There we go. I'm sorry, I just got up. That's why I'm a little harebrained today. So, uh, Johan has been tweeting a little bit about 0.4.0, and he was discussing Red Dye. Now, he could have easily just done a video game logic move and made it to where the cyan flowers give you red dye in the crafting table. But, no, he, do he goes above and beyond with this and makes a completely new way to do so. In the 0.4.0 update, the way to get red dye is you have to smelt a red mushroom in a furnace. That is really, really cool. See, that is what I was kind of talking about in a lot of my videos prior to this. This is meant to be Minecraft Pocket Edition, not Minecraft on your iPod. Or as I really should say, as Kaplan said. But, as you can see from that, the game is starting to take a life of its own. Which is really, really awesome. They may not make it to be just like the PC version, but I think the way that they are going, I think it will be a game that everyone can enjoy, even if you're a big time Minecraft PC player, play it on the Xbox, whatever. I think you could really enjoy Pocket Edition if you tried it. Speaking of which, my allergies are really screwing with me today. As well, uh... How the hell did that sheep get up there? Oh, wait, I know how, I know how. Anyway, the videos might be a little slow as of late, mainly because we're getting prepared for school. Um... A lot of things are going to be in the way of the videos and recording. However, I do have to give it to uh, Minecraft Chow. His uh, channel and his Twitter name is down in the description. He goes by Denny to Epic. Um, he said he was going to record the videos on the weekend and basically record a sh record, record, what the hell am I thinking? Record a shit ton of them on the weekend and upload them throughout the week. Ah, uh, that's actually a really good idea. So, uh, you should really go check out his channel. Because I said so. And I've never steered you guys wrong. As well in 0.4.0, the game is going to be a lot more like the PC version. You're going to have chests, you're going to have beds. Uh, from that tweet, red dye, more dyes are going to become open, there will be white wool added to creative, all of these good things. And you can go check out his Twitter to see all of the uh, things he's tweeted about for the update. And as I said before, the only thing that can possibly come from this new developer is good. Especially the way that he is bringing... Pocket Edition to a new original level. And also, I really like the fact that it looks just like completely dark right here, and then boom, you're in light. I love how light shines through leaves now. That is what I was wanting. And that was actually the whole idea behind this leaf house. But it... I did not know fancy graphics actually did have an effect on that. So, now it looks a lot better. And I do mean a lot. You know you're jelly of that. Don't be afraid to admit it. So, I will keep you guys informed on the updates. Uh, not really much of an episode today. I will record the commentary for Junk Jack 4, and for the next Junk Jack, I will do live, because, as I said before, I, 
I screwed up the recording settings and did not have the uh, mic on. So that's why I have to re-record these. And something I want to reiterate is that no one in the Pocket Edition community gets updates early. No one. Not Joe Pass Gaming, not Tie Dye Videos, no one. Because if someone does get that update early, A, there would be a way to get them early, unless they were literally Mo Yang employees, which I'm pretty sure neither of those two are. And to anyone that honestly says that they do get the updates early, I'm going to say you're probably wrong, friend. Let's get some wool. Ooh, thank you, sheep. Where should we put this? I'm going to add on to my monument. There we go. I also made like a little barrier around the McMillan town. Also the bedrock there. I made that when I had the mods on. Look at these. Look at this. I'm ready for you skeletons. Come at me, bro. The part that I'm actually happy about this is this is the first time I've actually had a mop grinder that worked 100%. Also, I may be setting up a world and creative to be a second survival series. Um, probably not, though. I will probably wait until there is multiplayer added, because if I can do that, I would like to make, like, a little base for the Mac army so you could visit. What I may do until then is send the map to my friend MCPE fan. His channel and link and Twitter name is down below. He goes by MCPE fan. I might send him that so he can have a server for the Mac Army. Because as some of you may know, he is a sergeant in it, mainly because he was one of my first few subscribers. But uh yeah. So that will probably be the end of this video. If you like, rate, subscribe, comment, do as you do, share wherever you want to. And whatever rating, I really don't care as long as you tell me how I can improve it if you dislike it. And if you like it, all I need is a like. And see, they are wrong about that. Look, I have auto jump on. This is fancy graphics. Look, auto jump works on leaves from a standing start. Whoever says that's a bug is clearly wrong. But thanks for watching.